Hello, I'm Pastor Mark of Overbrook Presbyterian Church, and I'd like to invite you to spend the next few moments with me reflecting together on God's Word. Today, we continue in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6. In all this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. For the past couple of days, we've been looking at whether the phrase, in all this you greatly rejoice, is backward looking or forward looking. Is it backward looking to the great list of blessings that we have from God, or is it forward looking towards trials and tribulations? And each of the past two days, I've made an argument or at least examined arguments that would support rear looking and the next day that would support forward looking. But the truth is, it reminds me of that old taco commercial where this family is arguing about which is better, soft taco shells or crunchy taco shells. And they argue and argue and argue and the level of their voices gets louder and louder and louder. And then finally, a little girl in the family says, Por que no los dos? Which I had no idea what she was saying, but I looked it up and it says, why not both? We don't have to choose between soft tacos and crunchy tacos. We can have them both. And of course, the company that they were advertising had a packet of taco shells that included both. Well, when it comes to this passage and whether it's backwards facing or forward facing, I think the answer is por que no los dos? Why not both? And isn't that the beauty of being a disciple of Jesus Christ? You know, people who don't have Christ in their life, when they receive good things in their life, they're happy. When bad things happen in their life, they're devastated. But you see, the thing is, even when good things happen in their life and they're happy, it can only be temporary because it's just a matter of time before something bad happens. And then their joy, their rejoicing is gone. And they're just devastated and they don't know when or if things will get better. And they're just, to me, on this nauseating roller coaster ride of everything's great, everything's horrible. Everything's great, everything's horrible. But this passage points out that as Christians, as disciples of Christ, we rejoice in our blessings and we rejoice in our persecutions. And this isn't just because Scripture tells us that's what we should do. It's because it makes sense. It's because our God blesses us even in our suffering. You've known people, you've known people in your life who are just faithful, faithful Christians. And, and they face challenging times. But you don't hear them say, well, that's it. I'm done with Jesus. If he can't do any better than this, I'd be better off on my own. No, because they found that constant provision of Jesus Christ that's there when things are up. It's there when things are down. It, it's this leveling of life's experiences because in Jesus Christ, he blesses us when things are up and he blesses us when things are down. So truly forward-looking, backwards-looking. Por que no los dos. Thank you for spending this time with me today, reflecting on the Word of God for the people of God.